part of an armorer's job is to design and manufacture and supply all the weapons for House of the Dragon. The production is just chock full of weapons and shields and all sorts, really. That's a department who are operating on a really high level. A sword is so much more than just a weapon. We can transform a person. At the beginning of the job, I have to sort of work out what weapons we need throughout the whole production. From the first sketches all the way to looking after it on set and make sure it's being worn properly and being used properly. Action! As an armory, we work closely with the costume department. We also do a lot of work with departments like set deck and props. We work really, really closely with stunts. It's one of the main features of weapons is obviously it's going to get put into the hands of actors and stuntmen and all these different people who have to use those weapons. Ryan and Miguel were really keen to keep all the weapons in reality and not have a fantasy feel to them. Questioning them at the very beginning about what they wanted from each specific houses and characters was really important and, and it really cemented the way that we designed everything. Dark Sister was made by Peter Johnson, and it was a stunning piece. Dark Sister was inherited over the generations, and I wanted to use this detail in the story as a vital aspect in the design. I wanted the sword to reflect a previous historical era that was more intricate and, and, and advanced. When we make a weapon, we always make it for real. Peter had used a, a Damascus steel to make the blade which is notoriously difficult to work with. The steel that comes from the mill already have a basic pattern in it. The forging of the blade will introduce further changes in this pattern. The decoration of these swords is not just like a surface embellishment. It's almost like zooming in to bring out the essence or the theme of the swords. You can see the carving of the dragon heads and you can see the treatment of the surface so it will tell a more intimate story when you come up close. He'd done a useful job, so it turned up and suddenly you find this daunting thing you have to try and replicate. We engineered the blade as closely as we could to his original, and then we had to try and make it look like Damascus steel in aluminium. We made three replica Dark Sisters, and then I genuinely can't remember how many rubbers we've made. Maybe we made 15 total. And we'll do a number of those because we need to have a considerable amount for all the different units they have filming at any one point. The sort of weapons that we make, everything needs to have a feeling of reality, a sort of feeling that we believe it's a reality, a sort of medieval period. There's a lot of effort and work goes into making everything and the sheer numbers, it is astonishing when you start looking back at it. The care and the detail, there's so many elements that go into making a show like this. These swords are much more than just movie props. In a way, they're almost characters in their own right. They have their own history, they pass through the hands of many owners, and that's a unique opportunity for me as a swordsmith to make these powerful objects as close as possible to their real potential. Yeah.